name is Nikki Randolph and I'm here with your Queen Anne's County Veterans Update. November 11th, Veterans Day, is the day that we honor all veterans. It's a day of honor and one that I am proud to be a part of. In these tough economic times when our country is in turmoil, one thing remains constant and never wavers, the service of all of our brave men and women who sometimes give the ultimate sacrifice, enabling us to live in a country that is still free. Our men and women who selflessly serve this great nation with service to this country represents the true face of this country. No matter the enticements, entitlements, or involuntary mandate that encouraged your service, serve you did and did so proudly. November 11th is the day that's set aside to remember and honor our vets. But we truly need to remember and honor our vets every day. It's our duty to pass on the legacy of each generation to the next. Our service is filled with a rich history, interesting stories, and fascinating facts. When is the last time that you sat down next to a veteran and just had a conversation and swapped war stories? When is the last time that you sat down to a World War II veteran and asked them about their service? After all, these guys have the best stories ever. And when was the last time you shook the hand of a Vietnam veteran, looked them in the eye, and said, thank you? I don't do it enough but I certainly can improve and so can you. On Veterans Day, we honor our veterans and extend the honor to even those who will serve in the future. We must always preserve our military family. It's our duty that we ensure that all veterans know the resources that are available to them. But most importantly, we must always be proactive instead of reactive. All of the programs that we have available today are due to the fact that somewhere a veteran stood up and said, we need to do better. We need to take care of our own. I ask each and every one of you to ask yourselves, what have I done lately for my fellow, fellow veteran and their family? One thing that I can suggest is supporting your local veteran service organizations. In Queen Anne's County, there are four VSOs that work tirelessly around the clock to ensure that our veterans and their families receive the best service possible. If you haven't joined, I encourage you to visit the VFW in Graysonville or any of the American Legions such as, De excuse me, such as Jeff Davis Post in Centerville, Benedict Andrew Post 296 in Queenstown, or the Kent Island American Legion Post 278 in Stevensville. Supporting your local VSOs is the first step in supporting our local veterans. Take the time this month and honor all of our veterans and their families. On behalf of Queen Anne's County Television, all the veteran service organizations in Queen Anne's County, we thank each and every one of you for your service. My name is Nikki Randolph, and this is your Queen Anne's County Veterans Update. Thank you for watching.